Hi, I'm Jo, an ecologist from ADAS, and today I'm going to talk to you about Great Crested Newts, one of our seven UK native amphibians which are protected under European legislation. I'm going to talk you through how to do an eDNA water sample as part of a Great Crested Newt survey. Your kit includes a protocol sheet, a sterile 30 milliliter ladle, a sterile wool pack bag, a sterile plastic pipette, two pairs of sterile gloves, and six conical tubes, two thirds full of preserving fluid. Before you start, plan where you're going to take your 20 water samples from. Make sure you evenly spread them around the pond to include both vegetated areas and areas of open water. And try to avoid water which is less than 10 centimetres deep. Make sure you don't go in the pond either before or during your water sampling. Using your ladle provided, gently stir the water column from the surface of the pond to close to the bottom of the pond but avoiding collecting any sediment. And repeat this for your 20 chosen locations around your pond. Once you've taken your 20 water samples, fold down the top of the bag, tuck in the plastic tabs and vigorously shake for 10 seconds. Having put on fresh gloves, use your plastic pipette that was provided and take 15 millilitres of your water sample and transfer into each of your six conical tubes, filling them up to the 50 millilitre mark. Close the tube and ensure the cap is tight and shake vigorously for 10 seconds. Once you've done that, make sure you label each tube with your surveyor pond name, the date and your name. Here are the three key points to remember. Take 20 samples evenly spread out around your pond. Try to avoid getting any sediment in your water sample and make sure you put 15 millilitres of your water sample into each of the six conical tubes. Thank you for watching our ADAS eDNA video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at edna at adas.co.uk.